uh, okay so hello everyone sorry for uh, too much late today okay so first let me know uh, am i clearly audible to all of you or not good evening good evening okay uh, at the end of the session you will getting the recording for both uh, previous two sessions do, don't worry uh, audible sir okay great uh, so sorry guys for the late today uh, okay first uh, let me share my screen and uh, let me know it is visible or not okay uh, yeah i will just share my entire screen okay uh, it is visible okay great uh, now I think Android Studio is also visible now. Okay. Uh, so why I'm asking uh, multiple times? Because in the last session, uh, I think we have some issues with the broadcasting or the screen issue, right? Okay. So we will just uh, have a look what we have done in the last session. Okay. Mm, yeah, I think we should start. Okay, so basically we saw in last session, uh, we have different layouts, uh, the different basic components, how we can design them or how we can code them, right? So here you can just drag and drop your uh, different, different components and design your application. And from here, you can just simply write a code and you can see the preview, what you are uh, doing on your code or uh, what type of GI are you building? You can see over here. Okay. Uh, so I think uh, you might have tried some different layout and component basic structure uh, on your machines. So uh, are you tried? If you have any issue with the implementation for last session you can ask within the five minutes at 7 30 we will continue or within two minutes we will continue with our uh, today's lesson so i hope uh, everyone tried just let me know do you have any issues or do you got it got into any problem that your component is not visible and so on Okay, so uh, there is no issue. You can just simply reply me with no issue. We will continue. No issue. Great. Thank you. Thank you for reply. Uh, okay. Yeah. So now what we're going to do, we will create a login page and uh, we can uh, and we will see how we can access that particular login page information on our backend or on our java file right so uh, our today's agenda is to create a login page and create a, another screen uh, where we are going to display our details or uh, simply what we can do we will take two fields that is email and name and we will display uh, it on uh, like on the toast or on the button click like anything else right so uh, we will start so now as you can see i am just changing it to linear layout and uh, removing this text view making my orientation as vertical so in last session, we, uh, we just did our uh, component, basic component overview with the help of uh, drag and drop. But for today, we will create the, uh, like what you can say, uh, with the help of code. Okay. So basically what we want, initially we want, there are 
now uh, like for email and for name we want to take a username or we want to take email from the uh, user so we are getting the input right so for getting input we use edit text okay as i simply type edit text it will uh, automatically suggest me edit text and by default it will show automatically the layout width and layout height okay so i will make my uh, width as match parent and make it as uh, height as wrap content okay and i will close the tab uh, then i can say hint enter your email right so as you can see here it says enter your email so this is the first text view okay I do I just copied and again I will just say enter your name okay so also there are two fields uh, why it is uh, showing one by one because we added the orientation to be vertical okay then we will add a button button so button width will be match parent height will be wrap content and we will set the text to be display data okay so how do you got this color and all the stuff uh, so android studio supports by default the designing uh, of these buttons and some of the components you can also change it with the help of different properties like uh, background we can simply make it as okay so we need to change or we can just simply try background tint so yeah and uh, next color will be so yeah uh, in this way you can design on your buttons you can make any color you can change the color so before uh, you are now suppose i want my color to be uh like what you can say uh pink or uh, yellow so i just uh, go to the color.xml file i will just copy one color file a uh, color tag then paste it and name it as yellow by simply click on this uh, color icon and from here i can change my colors okay so we will do a darkish yellow type yeah it will be fine so press uh, just simply click on it so uh, in the your design part you can able to access this okay just click on yellow and our text color should be white so it will look a quite different okay we will some adjust some color so uh it depending on your skills uh how you are designing and how you are making your application look a better so yeah I think we will make it as a dark. So yeah, now you can see this is a simple one. So uh, it is the part where you can show your skills that uh, how good are you designing uh, like so. If you don't want this kind of thing, you can just simply go with the uh, by default purpose. OK, so uh, this is the simple uh, UI we created. We will run our application and just test it how it looks it says the gradle build running we will wait for a few seconds so it will run okay it asked me to terminate yeah okay so this is our application uh in simple way uh, we have to like uh, what we can say input boxes and one button but now as you can see this is not looking that much good right so uh, i have a parameter called layout margin okay we will uh, minimize this emulator and go to split so i have a margin parameter so that is layout margin and you need to pass the size in dp so here like another uh, language how pixel 
and the different size or percentage here we use dp or sp so digital pixel and small pixels so i will provide the 10 dp so as you can see a border line appear all over our screen so when i remove this part it is fit to the screen and when i add two particular part so it will like you can say combine or merge the uh, different uh, components to particular type so it will look a different or it will look a better look so i can also add padding sorry layout pad. Uh, i think layout padding is removed in the new update so no worries we can also uh, add this to our each and uh, every component so as you can see the components have now some space between them so basically uh, what i did uh, i created a simple linear layout and assigned the layout margin to be 10 dp so the components within this line, linear layout so these three components will take the 10 dp apart from each side from bottom from up from left from right okay and also what i did i did for each component i did layout margin to be 10 dp so basically inside that it will take 10 dp space from each side okay from top bottom left and right so in that way we did for all components and uh, we can make this as like oh uh, layout gravity to be enter okay and another parameter will be gravity to be center so these our fields are at aligned at center okay we can just remove the layout gravity gravity parameter will be okay for us okay so now let's run and check how it looks okay as you can see it looks better now so this is my emulator here is the input field for email here is the input field for name and here is the display data field okay so now what i want to do i want to make this field so it only uh, want or only accepts the data or what you can say only uh, it will accept the email text and now suppose uh, i have another field for or number okay so i just want that each time when i open the number or when i click on the uh, number input box so it will only display the number field okay so for that we have another property in edit text called input type okay so here we will uh, pass input type for email to be text for name we will also pass the input type to be text and for number we will pass input type to be okay so uh, let's see what is the difference we will run our app okay uh sorry i just close we will close. okay okay so when i click on the input email it will open all our keyboard when i click on the name field it will open all the keyboard and when i click on the number it will only open the numpad on your smartphone so basically uh, this denotes the type of the text to be uh which type of data we want to uh, get from the user or now uh, you are thinking what about password okay so we will make another field control c control d enter your password and you can see when i just simply uh so for suggestion if you don't uh getting any suggestion you can just simply press control and space back you will get some suggestions right so these are different parameters for the uh, attribute or property input type so want what we want we want the text password okay or we can say password yeah 
So let's run it. So when I type the password, it will automatically hide my characters. So the logic behind it is that. So now suppose uh, I just typed an email, it shows. But when I type it inside our uh, password field, it just disables. Like this is the difference between the input type. Uh, when I click on the number, it will also display because it is text. Uh, sorry, it is number and it is visible text. Okay, so in that way, we can uh, accept the different types of input from the user. So now, to access this field inside our Java file, okay, so to access these files inside our Java file, we need to make sure that we have used one parameter. Okay, so another parameter is ID. So, okay, when I clear, type ID, just hit enter and again enter. So, this line automatically appears. Okay, so we will give the ID to the email. So, ID is nothing but a specifically uh, identifier for a particular component. Okay, so when you are uh, using this component inside your Java file, you can just simply uh, with the help of one property and the name of the id we can access the component right so id component is important when you are working with a dynamic content or uh, you are working it on the java file okay so we will add id to each and every component so we will name this as name another will be uh like number and another will be um, so for password i think we should what's it okay and also for button we will give the id id this data it is totally depend on you your naming convention and your memory so if you are working on a like a big project so there might be different components and a list of components may be huge so you need to maintain the different types of it if uh, you have the different activity or different file or different xml file and you given the name as same or id at same like now i have another activity so on that activity i have mentioned that the id to be at same that is number okay so so to recognize it properly you need to check uh, when you are importing it in a, your java file okay so it might get confused so don't worry uh, it nothing happens it depending on your uh, like depending on your xml file and java file it will automatically add up what you are trying to do uh, in your uh, project or in your activity okay so i think uh, we assigned the ids and i think we are done with the xml frame okay so just let me know do you have any query or issues uh, for the xml file or uh, what point did you not get okay just let me know uh, if you have any query or issue or any point that you missed or any point that you want to repeat you can ask we will do uh, or else we can just continue just let me know but if i have to put a button in password to show or hide our password okay can you tell again about gravity center okay i will tell so uh, for password fill I think uh, uh, there is a parameter called like what you can say oh, sorry this is number fill now control x I'm just trying this because uh, in the newer input layout there can be uh, another thing we will try okay this is not uh, happening okay for that you need to like use the uh, component i previously told you like text 
input text layout we will just check this works or not okay like i will uh, just go to code okay We will just check. Okay, so this is uh, not happening. Uh, so for that, we need to assign the one uh, icon to particular field, and then we will uh, show or disable the password at the Java file. Okay, so how it can be done? So basically, uh, you will just uh, set your input type to be password and we'll set drawable at right right okay, drawable right so this is a too much big icon i think uh, so okay so now uh, if you want to add icon okay thank you for this question so we can cover one also one part so if you want to add icon to your uh, uh, project you can just simply uh, click on drawable folder right click new here you can see vector assets okay and image assets so click on vector assets so then click on this clip art double click it so it will open the by default uh, library of the different icons okay so from here now we have to do one thing like password okay so we will add this i finish it will be added to our drawable file as you can see okay so when i click As you can see, the icon will be dis uh, displayed over here. So now, uh, when I click on this uh, icon, I would change the password uh, field into text field. So it will display our text. So we will do that in our Java file. Okay. So wait for this. Or uh, there is uh, else uh, like different material layout or material component which provide the by default, uh, what you can say. Mm -hmm by default this kind of things okay uh okay can you tell me again about gravity center so second part is gravity issue so to align your uh, components in the layout okay so now suppose this is my layout and i want my component to be at center or i want my component to be at bottom so there is a property called gravity okay just simply android colon gravity but it should be in the uh, like inside a layout so the whole components are uh, set to be that particular gravity so if i uh, just simply type center it will go to center if i type bottom it will go to bottom if we uh, type top it will at the top okay so this is nothing but gravity uh validation password the i button that we have in apps right i'm getting error the item height is 45 dp consider making the height of the touch target 48 dp or larger in all text views okay so uh, for the input field or text view the height should be minimum of 48 dp as it also says in error so here is the tip number one in the error you also getting the answer what you should do right so what it does this item height is 40 dp right consider making the height of that item or uh, touch target 48 dp or larger 
so just try a uh, 48 dp or 50 dp it should work okay and uh, sir but you did not get this error i wrote the same code as you mm. okay can you check once more what is the issue like uh or else you can just assign layout width to be match parent and layout height to be wrap content and then give it a try so i'm uh, just displaying the code for you or uh, i will just simply copy paste the code for you uh i will be sharing the github repo also so don't worry for that I just have to share the link. So if your name of activity is different, you you have to change the name to be in the separate file, right? So if you are uh, just doing with me, so it will be main activity. Okay. So I think apart from this, so anyone have any issue or anything else? validation of password okay it totally depends on you how you are going to validate your password okay so uh, like if you are totally building from the scratch you have your uh, what you can say own feasibility so you need to be uh, text length to be uh, greater than six so minimum length will be six uh, so there should be at least one character that should be so it is a part of what you can say string formatting and all the stuff the whole code is not able to yeah i think yes i will be providing you one simple code okay this is the code for uh, edit text just give it a shot uh just remove this drawable this will not work okay so currently we will uh, just hide this part okay it will confuse we will see uh, how we can hide and display the password on our own okay so yeah i think uh no issues till now we will continue so now to access this uh, component inside our java file just now we will go to our java file okay so what is the structure and what it does don't worry don't uh, take it like too much hesitancy so basically uh, it is a java code so it has a public class public is the identifier uh, class so basically you are uh, we write our java code inside our class and there are different method inside our class so main activity is the name of our class extends app compat activity so with the help of like you can say this is a simple inheritance so with the help of app compact activity we can access the different component uh, required for the particular activity inside our class so that's why it is by defaultly created and it is by defaultly imported okay so for now we have one two three and four edit text and one button so we need to create a variable so variable is nothing but a temporary or a, you can say a holding point where we hold something like there it can be an object it can be a value so object is nothing but the reference of the particular uh, component in the uh, our file and the values are anything like uh, it should it can be string it can be integer it can be float and anything else so we need to create a variable before referencing to that variable right so we will create uh, we will just type edit text and we will type one by one email comma name comma pass comma number okay and also we have one button so that's our button sorry button yeah. okay so we created our variables so 
email variable will help to uh, access this email component okay so now our variables are created but how we can access those elements so with the help of one property that is so we are assigning the value that's why i'm writing email is equal to so find view by id r dot id dot email okay so what is this uh, little thing so find view by id it is the method provided by app compact activity which will help to find a particular item with the help of their id okay so now uh, why our id is important so for using this property find view by id so find view means nothing find a particular component with the help of id so here is our id and we will access the same id as you can see here so what is r dot id dot email okay so when you uh, create any type of id in your xml file so it stores in a directory called id okay and for id there is a higher directory that is r so uh, like uh, as we previously see app is the main directory and inside app directory there are different like manifest java resource etc so in that way r is the main and inside that there is a one part called ids uh, which stores the different component id inside it and with the help of uh, the name of the id we can access this component okay so this code is important before using our component so we will just simply type for all of and view by id r dot id dot password and the last is number find view by id r dot id dot Sorry. number and the per button also same find view by id r dot id dot this per button i think yes this per data okay in this way you can reference to particular component so now uh, if i want to use the email field i can just simply with the help of this variable i can use it inside my code so for referencing uh, do you have any issue or have any error you don't have uh, any conceptual uh, issue or what did you not understand just let me know or if uh, everything is great you can just reply me no issue so okay why i am asking each time this kind of question because uh, it must uh, need to be clear your concept like this is the basic things you are need to while development right so these are some of the basic things we need okay no issue no issue great so now what we will do so uh, now suppose what i want i want my data to be displayed when i click on the particular button okay so what we can do we can create a uh, different text fields to display our data okay so for that how we can do or uh, okay we will create our uh, like you can say we will uh, remove our gravity as we are going to add multiple component for it okay text view we will text view name as width match parent and height to be wrap content okay so id will be dispo name or okay dispo basically what it does it will help us to display the name we will just assign the text uh, size to be 15 sp in as okay and we will copy this four times okay so one two three so one is for display name one is for display email one is for display number 
like there is no need to display our password right so we will remove one thing so here you can see the different text parameters are appear what we can do we will also also add margin it will look better this is the designing part you can just uh, change uh, the different text size text the font and anything else okay so now we added also one and two and three text views so we will also create their variable text view disp name disp number and disp email okay we will also reference them disp name equals to find view by id r dot id dot this name then email equals to find view by id r dot id dot this per email then for this per number find view by id r dot id dot So here you can get the uh, different text views in our file. So now what we want, we want to display our text uh, data like email name and number uh, when we click on uh, display data button. Okay. So there is a method or property you can say for on click purpose. So just just uh, we will type the reference name of button that is button dot at on click listener okay and then we will simply type new view dot on click listener when i just okay so let's type view it will the first line will tell view dot on click listener and press enter on it it will automatically uh, write your code okay so this is on click method so uh, this method is called when the button is clicked so what is this whole code okay so we have a different types of listeners okay so like uh, now i am telling you about this lesson and you are listening right so in that way the click is to be listened by something okay so that's why it is said the method that is button dot set on click listener yeah so basically this is the uh, main part so button dot set on click listener and then what is this new dot view dot on click listener so basically new is the current reference or uh, it will assign the memory for that particular uh, component and what is view dot on click listener on click listener is a method okay so when uh, we set a listener then it is need to call a method for that particular listener okay if we said on double click listener we need to call on double click listener method so what is view view will provide provide us the actual view present over here so view is nothing but in actual concept like what we can say view is nothing but a display uh, display part right so it is like that so it will provide the gui part so when we click on that particular item what we are going to do it is written over here okay so i will just type a comments so to write the comments you can use double slash button on click to display data okay so inside that i will type in this will be called then button is why i'm writing this uh, comments because uh, when you are trying by yourself uh, after providing this code you, you should have idea what uh, the particular thing does okay so uh, if you are trying with me you just need not to do these things okay so basically double slash lines will not execute so that's why it, uh, it's shown in the like gray color. Okay. 
so it will not execute but it is used to display a message for particular item so now why it is used basically consider now you and me are working on the project so i have created different activities so uh, but you don't have idea what the particular uh, method or what the particular button does okay so that's why uh, this is my job to let you know inside the code uh, what should it do so that's why comments are used okay so inside that uh, what we are going to do we are going to take the uh, input from the email name password and number field okay so we will create the like uh, variables so i think there is another thing you need not to create the variable i will just simply go uh, uh, simply display one thing and we will okay string name is equal to so i would just want to get the name so i will type the component or variable name dot Uh, I think it is not referencing why name okay name dot so the variable names are same that's why it is not showing uh, okay text so okay so what is the issue here you can simply see I created a string variable to store a value and then I just got the name with the help of this method get text. So get text it is a method used to get the text from the particular input box or text view also and set text is another method used to set the text to particular text view and what is dot to string I just uh, uh, like type conversion or you can say simply I just uh, let the variable or uh, let the data to be as a string okay so when we create a string uh, sometimes you need to pass to string okay but now we want to set the name so we will display uh, set our name on to dot set text and we will pass our uh, name one okay so what we are doing we are just simply taking input from this field that is name and displayed it inside our this box okay so we will check it it happens or not in our code okay just simply we are displaying the name uh, within if we successfully displays our name we will display all the details okay so our uh, what you can say oh gui is there so when i type my name that is ajinkya and i just simply click on display data as you can see it is displayed on the text view okay if i type my whole name and click on display data it will display data by default okay so it is happening so uh this is the another way with the help you can get this text and display here so i'd like uh, rather creating variables for each and every string variables for each and every component we can just simply cut this part and paste it over here okay so basically what we are going we are setting the text as with the help of this get text okay so we will do this for all field display email dot set text email dot get so sorry it is huh, get text dot to string okay then uh, display number dot set text number dot get text dot to string so it might confuse uh, it depending on your name of the different component variables so uh, just check with your component so it might get actual result that you wanted okay we will just click on run again
okay so like i will type my mail to be here abcgmail.com then name abc then mobile number one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then password will be something we can type anything because we are not displaying the password that's why anything so display data as you can see abc abc at the gmail.com and our number so in that way you can just simply get the data from our user input and display on our text views okay now suppose we want to uh, like uh, what you can say check whether uh, the fields are empty or not when we just click on uh, display data button okay so for that what we can do is uh sorry name dot get text dot equals null okay so we can just type or and we will copy this thing again Okay, so I will just explain what I did over here. Okay, so basically, uh, I checked that if the name uh, dot get text is equal to null or not, then uh, we will check uh, email and then we will check the number. Okay, so what is this symbol? This symbol is or symbol. So basically. Uh, if and else, uh, I think if you know, if and else are the condition part. If is for the if condition is executed, and else part if the condition is not ex not uh, like you can say not satisfied with our constraints. Okay, so uh, inside this if if the this part is true, then this part will be executed, and if uh, the condition is uh, false, then else part will be executed. Okay. So why or because uh, anything inside our uh, what you can say email number and text field should not be uh, empty and if we type just simply and for it so it will check for all uh, all at once okay so we want that if only name is not present it should uh, not display our data if only email is not present we should not display our data so uh, our condition is that we have all the fields to be uh, taken input right so we will run code and see what it does it will do some difference or not we will check okay just simply when i click on display data nothing happens okay so when i type abc And again click so now as you can see the three fields are uh, all are inputted that's why it's showing me all details so now suppose if i will remove one part so only two of them are displayed so basically it's kind of you are checking the null part or else uh, you can just simply display data directly okay so it is kind of a validation thing uh, in the advanced part you can just uh, try and give it a shot for the same so now currently uh, let me know uh, you have uh, done with this or uh, do you have any issues regarding the set text get text and display and getting the input from the data no issue sir okay so i am getting error cannot resolve symbol at edit text and button uh yeah okay 
just remove this thing i already told you okay now what i can show you uh i think your code have the drawable right thing so just remove that thing and your code should be like this edit text and for a button it should be like this i will provide you these both okay no issues uh any issues apart from this or uh, what else do you want me to try we will try another two things like creating a new activity and sending data between these activities and displayed it on the next screen okay uh just let me know okay how to ensure all fields are filled okay uh, i just previously write the code for it this is the way like uh, okay so this is a way like just let me check again what is what we rather than null we can just simply pass the double quote it represent the null string also we will check or else there is a property for the particular part it should not display the data because all fields are mandatory but it is displaying right so i will try it again okay uh, so android development is a process of trial and error kind of thing so you need to check every time it works or not okay you see okay it still displays the data so what we can do there is a thing text utils dot is empty so is one thing text utils dot is empty we will try this first and then we will continue with all the so if the ta name text field is uh, empty then it should not display anything if it is not empty then it should display all the thing a b c so it will display the data a b c but when we click and just type the gmail it is not working okay so now we can just simply type our code again so text utils dot is empty email dot get text again text utils dot is empty then number dot get text so what is text util and what is is empty so text utils is a way to getting the different text fields so it can be edit text or text view so basically these two and to check whether they are empty or not there is a method called is empty and with the help of our reference that is name dot get text we can just check the particular text field is empty or not okay we will try again okay so abc at the rate gmail.com so it is not empty but other two are empty so it should not display the data okay so if we type all the data it is displaying now okay so if we just remove the first part we need to refresh the app because it already the text view is set in the 
okay so abc at the rate dot com and we will just pass okay so name field is not there it is empty so it should not display the data so it works like that so i think you might got your answer so now there is a thing called display of message or you can say a toast toast is nothing but a pop-up message you might get in your application like login success waiting for confirmation uh, update successful user updated successfully these kind of thing a, a pop-up for a particular time it will appear and it will disappear so for that in android studio there is a way that is toast uh, there are two toast okay so android.widget you can just type the whole thing if you don't want to just type the whole thing you can just uh, just uh, down your arrow and click enter it will write the whole code for you okay so toast make text so what is uh, we will uh, just see uh, main activity and then uh, for text we will pass please enter all FIEL fields okay so now if the fields are empty we should get a display message that is fields please enter all fields or uh, all details right we will run and test now it is showing please enter all data so this is a particular pop-up message so now uh, what are different parameters of okay so toast is the name of uh, one class which is uh, useful while displaying a toast message so there is a method for it that is make text so make text is responsible to displaying our text okay so it has three parameter context text and the length so basically context is nothing but uh where you want to display your message okay so i want to display it on our main activity so that's why main activity dot this then what is your message you want to display okay so this is our text and the third parameter is toast dot length short so for a short period of time or for a long period of time do you want to display okay so currently it is short so now it is disabled okay so if we make it as long it will uh, display it for a few more seconds. Okay, so this is the difference between length long and length short. Now just check if we just simply type the name only and uh, if we want to display our data, it says please enter all fields. And if we entered all fields, this uh, currently i'm typing anything so now if all fields are uh, clear then it is displaying our data so hope uh, you might got your answer with the help of make sure or ensuring that text fields are empty or not so why we used or it's like a logic uh, building part uh, kind of thing so if we use and what it will do it will check that all fields are empty or not if all fields are empty it will only display this message else uh, if only uh, two fields are empty it will display their data or if it will display the text field where the data is to be taken so if we take or it considers them all like if uh, like if email is empty or not or if uh, a name is empty or not or if number is empty or not and if we just simply type and like in this way you can just simply type and okay so now uh, we will just have a look what is the difference okay you already seen or part we will see and part right so now there is no data present it's showing us please enter all details now consider if i type email okay it does it displays our data okay 
so here is the false condition occur because we want that user need to make sure that user need to enter email name and number and then only we want to display data or uh, display data so in some condition you need to use and in some condition you need to use or so it totally depends on you i just gave it an example for both okay, so now you also learn about displaying of a small message that is toast okay so st uh, yeah now let me know do you have any query or uh, issue for the same how to mark this field is mandatory okay uh, with the help of the hint or with the help of this kind of thing you can just ensure that so now consider for this code if the text are empty or one of the field is empty then the simply only message displayed nothing happens okay so now consider you have a database you want to upload email name and number to a particular database but one of them is empty so it will display the message to be as the fields are empty or please make sure all fields are to be uh, like what you can say oh uh, you need to enter all fields and if all fields are uh, taken input from the user or it is written then only this part execute and then only the data is to be stored in the database so in that way you can do this okay so what if we have to display toast until the condition is satisfied okay so uh, this is not possible because the toast message is for a particular time right so for our condition until the condition satisfied there is uh, another things we can use we can use progress dialog so it will uh, display the like what you can say a buffer part on the our screen like so on or else you can just simply this kind of error or this kind of a small message because i think there is no need to display the toast until the condition is satisfied so in uh, any of your scenario if you have uh, this kind of thing then you can just simply use the like warning message okay uh, you can create a display text simply okay so what you can do mm we will create a text view over here text view uh, math parent wrap content then margin uh, dp then text would be then uh, then uh, you can just uh, sell to be bold and uh, text alignment to the center okay so i have a few new properties to introduce to you so it is a text uh, like text formatting you can say so i displayed uh, the text message that is all fields are mandatory text size to be 15 sp text size to be bold sorry style to be bold and text alignment is center now we will update this message until our condition is satisfied okay so we will go to our uh, activity file we will just create or uh, we will give the id okay so id will be note or anything you want to do we will uh, note we will just so uh, remember this when you create a new component you have to do this sort of things again and again okay so uh
if we will display the message that is please ensure fill all fields and uh, if we just and uh, we can okay so to uh, disable the particular item for visibility there is a property called set visibility uh, and there is a pro like there are three parameters visible invisible and gone gone what uh, gone what will be like i will uh, do invisible for you so basically you will get idea okay so view dot invisible so basically our uh, display message will be disappear when all the fields are uh, written and all the fields displays data until then we will displaying a message that is please ensure all fields are filled so let's test how it goes okay so currently i am saying that all fields are mandatory okay when i just click on display data Uh, as you can see the display message also there and uh, you can see the text is changed please ensure to fill all fields so you can give you uh, give this field as a red color of uh, like it will display as a warning so we can just simply the text color to be uh, we will create the red color it will look like as a warning right we run the app again so now as you can see all fields are mandatory when i click on display data please ensure all the fields are empty so this message will be appear until or this message will be still here until you are displaying your data so we will type our data again okay and when we click on display data the mark is done and our display is there so in that way you can just you can just play with the different fields different components so also it uh, gets you attracted towards android studio and it makes you happy because you are trying something new and it occurs or it happens uh, according to your need right so it is the way or else you can do the different strategic ways or different programmatically ways no worries uh, now you can just display the text message inside your input field also so it's kind of thing depending on you i think you got it right yep thanks sir okay so apart from this uh, do you have any issue or uh, any queries regarding our today's session like this part uh, just let me know if you have any issue or no. okay no issue i think okay i think uh, this will be enough for today's lesson because we are not going to too much deep because uh, it's too much for today's lesson because we have learned the how we can create the variable how we can reference our variable how we can create our id how we can create our basic gui how we can uh, check whether the fields are empty or not how we can display a tray uh, simple message how we can display a warning message and how we can in take input from the user and set in uh, our text set text to particular fill so this is a lot for today i think okay so if you have any query regarding this or if you have any issues uh, while you developing your code or while you are writing your code you can ask for 5 minutes we will be there no issue okay great so how to add pop up like we get a tip on starting android studio we need to click close to close it okay for that there is a option called dialog okay you need to create a particular dialog and display a message okay so um, this is the way 
डायलॉग इज द थिंग यू कैन क्रिएट एंड यू कैन डिस्प्ले द डेटा ओके थैंक basically uh, dialog is like alert box so you can get like uh, as you told uh, when you open android studio it shows something like in that way also we can implement it android studio so it has a component called dialog we will see in uh, tomorrow's lesson uh, as we are proceeding with the database so it will have a different functionalities within it yes i will be sharing the code okay just uh, okay wait for 5 minutes i will share it right right now uh i will create a github repository and uh, i will share the code with you uh just give me 5 minutes uh or do you want me to show you how you can create your repository and uh, uh, update the code to your repository then also i can also share my screen and show to you or else i will just create on my own and just give you the link if you want me uh, that uh, want to share yes it is available on the youtube i think the team is already shared the links i will share it again for you just share it okay great just give me 5 to 10 minutes i will be there
I uh, so sorry Namrata because I have done. I can just show you how you can add repo in tomorrow. Okay, so I think uh, some of you are in hurry because there is a lunch time for some of you. As we got one query that our mess closes soon, so yeah, that's why we are uh, closing soon. I think that's it for uh, today's session. This is the GitHub repo for our project. I will be uploading uh, each and every code uh, within our, uh, like you can say, our sessions onto it. Okay. So in uh, another session, I will show you how you can upload your data to GitHub or how you can manage your GitHub repo. So I think, yeah, that's it for today's session. Uh, I think you should leave. Uh, we will meet uh, tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. And thank you for joining. Good night. Good night, everyone. Uh, sir, we can use sharp language. Uh, actually, inside Android Studio, only Java and Kotlin is supported. If you are going with another frameworks, then it might support. Like now, suppose you are developing your applications with the help of uh, Unity Studio, then it supports the C-sharp language. But for uh, Android Studio, it is only Java or Kotlin. Yeah. OK, great. Thank you, Thavring. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Uh, we will meet in tomorrow's lesson. Okay, ciao. Bye. Good night, everyone.